Tonight is a serial killer toy with police or could a Georgia woman who vanished 35 years ago be tied to the notorious murderer? Samuel Little drew, drew sketches of some of his nearly 90 plus victims. Investigators are now revealing exclusive details to our Brittany Edney about a possible link to a local cold case. That's right, Sharon. Could this sketch right here be Helen Ann Morgan. Investigators are digging as her family speaks out, sharing old photos like the one I have tonight about the mother who disappeared without a trace. How much can a simple portrait from a serial killer reveal? Uh, the width of the nose is uh, is wrong. Her nose was a lot thinner. Helen Ann um, Morgan's brother Keith wonders, could this be her? And her hair was not red. To help connect the dots, I started reaching out to multiple jurisdictions. Based off everything That's I when read, Sergeant uh, Shannon Williamson yeah, told me he was like looking to see if Little's um, accounts um, matched so any of his cases in Lamar County. It's possible, just possible that these are victims that he hasn't actually told us about. Little has given investigators some details on Georgia victims, but these drawings of a madman may be key. This one lacks a specific backstory, but shares similar traits to Helen Ann Morgan. Keith treads softly on this lead, not wanting the unsolved case consume him like it did their mother. Yeah, uh, physically to her deathbed worrying about Ann. With Little's claims of victims across Georgia, it's opened the door for connections to countless cold cases. Could Keith's family be closer to closure? Year after year, the further you go, the worse it gets, the more you lose sight of hoping that someone will pay for their crime. Time has stood still for the young mother many knew as Ann. 35 years later, folks in Barnesville remember her as the woman who vanished. Anytime somebody mentions the name, they can tell you what you're talking about. There are families that grow up here and stay here and we talk about it. Sure, her eye color and hair are similar to Little's drawings, and she disappeared in May of 84, a time when Little could have been in Georgia. But could this artwork from a jail cell be the decades-old missing link? In a small community that we are, um, we don't have too many leads, and that's what we're looking for is leads. So if we get something of this nature, we have to follow it. We have to go after it. Helen Ann Morgan's body was never found, so the details on her case, well, they've been very limited over the years, and that's why Lamar County Sheriff's Office, they want to speak with Little to see if there's any chance that some of the details they know match what he's saying. Reporting live in the studio, Brittany Edney, CBS 46 News.